Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar. I am starting a new series on Open Shift Origin. In the first chapter, we are going to prepare machines for the Open Shift with NIP.io DNS. We are going to launch three VMs for CentOS 7. One for Open Shift Master. Second one for OpenShift Compute and third one for OpenShift Infra. Let's begin. I am using the VMware Workstation 12. So create a new virtual machine. Give the path of CentOS 7 ISO file. I am creating master machine now. Select the disk size. Customize hardware. I am assigning 4 gig RAM, 2 core processor. Close it and finish. CentOS machine is getting booted. Select the language, select the installation destination and select a option automatically configure partition. Click on done, then click on network and host name, Ethernet ENS33 virtual card is going to assign switch on the IP address 192.168.189.138 allocated from my router. Guys, I am not using any professional routers or switches. It is basic router okay, to distribute internet traffic. DNS service is mandatory for the OpenShift host name or cluster name should be configured and resolve IP address from all machines having DNS entry in local etc host file doesn't sufficient for okay, OpenShift environment since I am testing OpenShift in my local laptop Hence, I don't have DNS server for my environment. To overcome this problem, I am going to use a DNS service called nip.io. nip.io DNS project is available to use free DNS service. These are couple of the example. How can you use nip.io DNS service for your project? This is the DNS record of this machine. Master.ip.nip.io is pointing to IP address of this machine. Let's go ahead and apply. Click on Done. Click on Begin Installation. Set Root User Password. Installation is in progress. Okay. It has been completed. Go for reboot. Login with your root account. Let's verify the host name and DNS. Let's try to ping this host name from my local laptop yes we successfully able to ping host name from my local machine 
it means that DNS service is working fine. Just make sure that your host name is reachable and you have internet connectivity and IP.io DNS service should be reachable over the internet. Now we required one more step to complete host preparation. We required to add one more disk on the machine for the docker storage. Let's add one more disk. Right click and settings. Click on add. Click on hard disk. I am going with SCSI. Create a new virtual disk. I am going with 10 gig. Select the option allocate all disk space now. Store virtual disk on a single file and go for next. Click on finished. Click on OK. Let's verify the disk on machine. This is the command to check how many disks are added on the machine. At this moment, only one disk is added as BA. We can't see the secondary disk on the machine. Let's go for reboot. My machine has been rebooted. Let's verify the disk now. Yes, I can see secondary disk SDB on the machine now. Now my machine is ready for the OpenShift installation. Follow the same steps for other two nodes, Infra and Compute. Once all three nodes are ready with an IP.io DNS, we will begin installation of OpenShift origin. Join me next video. Till now, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.